Alright, let's try a different LED flashlight this time and see how this works. The other one was just overbearing, but there is your holes for the spark plugs and the coil. We're still working on a Kawasaki here. You can kind of see the one and two marking for your wires right there. There's your uh, air valve switch or whatever. It's just a breather that goes back in, but you'll definitely have to pop that little uh, clamp off right there and just slip that off and then put it back on after you get the air box back on. So that's about all you can see there. I want to show you a few things. <clears throat> Number one, here's your uh, coil and plug. So Denso 129-700-4580. Let me just zoom in on that. Oops. Now what? Going oh, haywire on the focus. Uh, you can put an L14612 perlator filter on your bike, which is a little bit uh, bigger than the PH6607. Uh, there's actually two different uh, fram numbers that will fit. There's a couple different perlator numbers that will fit and the perlator is just a little bit longer filter get a little bit more filtration so I got some of those here's your stock uh, plugs NGK IR or Iridium I guess CR9 E1 uh, IA9 let's see what that little baby looks like so uh, I was looking for a an adapter I guess that's a 10 millimeter to 14 millimeter adapter for the uh, compression uh, gauge and I went to O'Reilly and they didn't have one but they did find an adapter in a book and we're going to try to, uh, I think it was a Michitoya uh, catalog and we're going to see if they could uh, order it for me. So here's your air box, there's your uh, line. Now if you get, to, here's your intake over here, oops, here's your intake over here, the air comes up, comes over, your filter's right here, comes in, but if you get any water into the back, this is your vent that goes down into the transmission, and this is pretty much on the same level back here, so if there's any water that gets into the back, it'll definitely go right down into the transmission and it'll also collect in there but uh, my idea was I think this should have been a little bit higher up inside it's really just flush with the bottom here which really if this was a little higher on the inside uh, then if any water collected it would run and come down to the hose and maybe not get into the transmission so I'm thinking of putting a little piece of uh, pipe I see the end of it there up inside to extend uh, where that sticks so it'll raise it slightly because if it was raised uh, just slightly on the inside then anything that got in there wouldn't necessarily go right into the transmission which mine did it got a little bit of water and it did collect some water in the hose but it also went into the transmission so I had to change oil at any rate, here's what it looks like, and you can see it's got a little uh, water uh, hole on the front. So, it's kind of hard to deal with here. You really can't see in there, but we'll try. Let's see. Maybe you can see that, and you kind of see that uh, there's a little hole down in there. So, technically, any water that came in it didn't go through the filter would fall out that bottom little hole any moisture it collects and so forth so that's the general idea okay, let's see where the filter goes there so that's your air box that's the uh, air probably air temperature sender 
but they're on the edge. You can't really see it. So that's what Jerry Box looks like. So that's the main components and uh, getting it cleaned up. We're gonna put it back together today. All right.